Three months after the full release of macOS 26 Tahoe, we finally have a GarageBand for Mac update. So, what's new? Nothing. Nothing is new. When you go to update GarageBand via the Mac App Store, open the Mac App Store, search for GarageBand, and you should see an update button here instead of the open button I have as I've already updated. You'll see that the only info available is that this update includes stability improvements and bug fixes. And that's pretty much par for the course with GarageBand for Mac updates. Usually though, you can jump across to Apple's official update notes page where an actual in-depth list of changes and improvements will be waiting for you. For version 10.4.13 however, it only states that this update includes stability improvements and bug fixes. So it makes it hard to tell what changes have been made and what issues have been fixed. I can tell you what hasn't been added in this update and why it's an issue. When macOS Tahoe was released, it brought with it a fresh new UI update, which Apple called Liquid Glass. With this new design language, Apple made updates to icon design requirements. App icons that don't comply with the updated size and design rules are displayed with a translucent grey border around them until developers provide updated artwork. As you can imagine, most in-house Apple apps have had their icons updated to meet the new requirements. iMovie, Logic Pro, Test Flight and the Shortcuts app, to name a few, have all, by now, been updated. Up until now, GarageBand for Mac has had that same translucent grey border as it hadn't been updated. Version 10.4.13, it still hasn't received an updated app icon. GarageBand for iOS also recently received an update, including an all new app icon. So it's strange to see Apple update GarageBand for Mac and not furnish it with one too. Now, it could just be that Apple's music creation team are focused elsewhere. In case you were unaware, music YouTuber Ricky Tinez joined Apple as product manager back in May of 2025. He's in charge of Logic, GarageBand, Voice Memos and Mainstage. With rumours abound of an iOS version of Mainstage currently in the works, the Mac version also hasn't been updated in a while and also has that grey border around the icon. It may just be that Apple have got bigger fish to fry, in their minds at least, right now. GarageBand for Mac is now the only Apple Music production app where the most recently released sound packs are not available. The Magnetic Imperfections Vintage Textures Pack released in GarageBand for iOS and Logic Pro for iPad 9 months ago, and Dance Floor Rush, a drum and bass pack released six months ago. It's worth noting that both of these packs have been added to Logic Pro for Mac already at this point. Now, GarageBand for Mac users are used to waiting a little bit longer for content like this. Apple tends to release them en masse once or twice a year in GarageBand for Mac, as opposed to the every few months release cycle on iOS. But this seems a little bit different. Usually, if a GarageBand for iOS sound pack hasn't been officially released in GarageBand for Mac, you can import an iOS project that contains content from that sound pack and it will force GarageBand for Mac to download the content from that pack. In fact, doing this with a project that contains loops from the Magnetic Imperfections sound pack does exactly that. I'm asked if I want to download the missing sounds, and when I do, I can access the Magnetic Imperfections loops in GarageBand for Mac's loop browser. This doesn't work for the dance floor rush pack though. I just get a pop-up saying the sounds aren't available and the regions load up empty. This is strange as one, the pack has been available for six months now on iOS, and two, the pack is available in Logic Pro. In case you weren't aware, Logic Pro and GarageBand on Mac share the same sound library. So yeah, a wee bit disappointing, a wee bit confusing, and a wee bit concerning. What do you think? Has Apple abandoned the garage band for Mac completely, or do you think they're holding back as they perhaps have something bigger planned for it in the future? Leave a comment below and let me know. 
leave a like and subscribe and all that YouTube jazz while you're down there. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.